Yo, NMDs are back strong this week, but there are a few other heaters in the mix as well. Let's start the show. Welcome to the Heat Check. I am your host, Jacques Slade. And this week, Jordan Brand is kicking things off with the monster of the hardwood, AKA Russell Westbrook. His signature sneaker, the Why Not 0.1 Low, is dropping in a white and blue colorway, and you can grab a pair over at Finish Line for $115. For the ladies, Nike is digging into the crates and pulling out some 90s heat with the Air Max Deluxe. These are rocking a crazy mix of colors on the upper and were actually inspired by rave music. You can grab a pair of these for $190 on Thursday. Jumping ahead to Friday, Friday, we have one of the biggest releases of the week, the Nike and Off-White collab on the Presto. Now, I don't have to tell you guys this, but these are going to be extremely hard to get. They're part of the second part of his collaboration with Nike, and you can grab those for $160 if you can find a pair. Going back on the Jordan brand train, the ladies are getting a special colorway of the Air Jordan 13. The name Moon Particle has been thrown around, but if you basically just like a nice pair of white kicks, these might be perfect for you. As for the details, the squad at Jordan Brand is mixing it up with some crocodile skin paneling on the heel and at the midfoot section. Looks really dope to be honest. Those will cost you $190. Moving from the old school to the new school, as far as basketball is concerned, a new version of the Kyrie Forest dropping and it's all blacked out and it looks pretty sick. The only bit of color you see is over the outsole and even then it's a bit of a shadow gray. So basically these are the all black shoes that you need. You can grab those for $115. Now, if you've been missing the Adidas NMD and the boost that comes along with those, then you're in luck this week as a new colorway of that shoe is dropping this week. It's technically the R1. It has a black base, but it also has a mix of green and white on the upper. It's kind of like this tie-dye sort of effect on the shoe. And for you NMD fans out there, you can grab these for $170 over at Finish Line. All right, switching up with Reebok, who is bringing back the DMX cushioning technology in a pretty big way. For many, DMX is the best cushioning that Reebok has ever done, and you can get a taste of it in the DMX 2000 Low in two colorways. You can grab those for $140. All right, taking a look at Saturday, the Air Max squad is going extra hard with a crazy camo collection for both men and women. The women get the better look with the three pairs that features the floral camo pattern. I personally like the Air Max one the best out of the bunch, but there's also an Air Max 95 and an Air Max 98 in there as well. Both look pretty clean, but again, the Air Max one is my favorite. Now switching to the men, they only get two pairs, the Air Max 95 and the Air Max 98, and they switch from a floral camel pattern to just the regular classic camel pattern. Either way, you can get both of those for $180. For you phone posit fans out there, the next shoe really needs no introduction. It's the Nike Air Flight Posit. These still look like they are from the future after all this time, and when you mix in that classic colorway, you really start to take things up a notch. You can grab those in dark neon royal, which seems like a very specific colorway for $200. And finally, back in April, Jordan Brand hooked up the JBC kids with a special pair of the Air Jordan 10s with the cement print on the upper. Well, now it's your chance to get those. Even though it isn't exactly the same model that the JBC kids got, it's very, very close. If you're a fan of the Air Jordan 10, if you're a fan of the cement print, then you can grab these over at Finish Line for $190. All right, that's gonna do it for the show this week. As always, wanted to make sure I gave you guys the kicks that I thought you would definitely be checking for. I am Jacques Slade. This is the Heat Check presented by Finish Line, and as always, I appreciate you.